And then after that, are you coming back to San Diego? I might be moving to Austin. That's my that's my target right now. Okay, okay. So, okay. I was wondering, because I was like, you had that going away party, yeah. and uh, we're in game one, so let's talk about this. Okay, so they opted to go to Green Hill Zone. Why do you think Mock chose this stage? Honestly, I like for me, if I'm playing against Tristan's Rule, the two stages that I would like to play on are Smashville and Green Hill Zone. Okay. Because the platform isn't stationary, gotcha. ever. So if he wants to do that thing where he down airs and platform cancels, which like really opens up his neutral game, yeah. he's going to have to try 10 times harder, and I'm just going to wait for him to mess up. Okay. You know what I mean? That's actually a very fair assessment. Normally when I play against Tristan, I'm so afraid of like the smaller boundaries on the left hand the right hand side that I don't want to take him to Green Hill Zone. But, yeah. I mean, you're right. There's a moving platform. He can't platform cancel. And what do you think Ma can take advantage of as an Ivysaur? Oh, dude. Um, when I think of small st small stage, you think small blast zones, but what, what people forget is that, like, oh, whoa, dude, he, like, oh, he got, he and he got the ball. Dude, he, that, that's, like a, that's like an A-plus rank at the Olympics, dude. He, like, sharpshooted all of those things out the skies. Nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sick. Sickness. But, yeah, like, I think Ivysaur can get some pretty easy edge guards, too. I can tell, yeah. Because, because... Since the stage is smaller, more percentage of the stage is the edge, so it's easier to transition to that offstage game. Okay. There I'm, we go. I like that you mentioned that Tristan's neutral game was kind of neutered with a lack of like a stationary platform. Yeah, you, you see how like how like he kind of has to play like this really honest left-right horizontal game, and then like once that platform kind of like dips down, yeah. he'll like he'll like use it for like a little bit, you know. Ooh. And oh, missed the punish there by Mock. I'm liking the way that Mach is kind of just um, taking his time with approaching Tristan, but he seems to be having trouble with like some of the some of the items that Tristan's using, or not the items, but the arsenal. Yeah. Nice. Oh wow, that downer is gonna catch him. Cool. This is his chance to convert. Oh yeah. Tr like like Toon Link needs so much time to set up. If you're not, if you're like too close, mm. people are just gonna smack you. They're not gonna wait for you to to do your pretty little recovery. And it was, that was kind of a precarious position for like Tristan to be at. You don't want to be like right there at that 45 degree angle from the ledge against an Ivysaur. Oh yeah, that 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 freaking. Ooh, that was. Mach has the worst aim <laughs> on I, those solar beams of any Ivysaur. I kind of beg to differ. I mean, he's done some clutch um, like solar beams in the past. But oh, did you see that Giffy Cat that he get of like he like he did a drop zone solar beam? No, but that sounds incredible. Dude, okay. <laughs> Man, he like he like basically forward threw or like forward aired Lucky off the stage, and then he did a drop zone solar beam. They were both on their last stock, and he like knew it was gonna connect, so it, it was like super swagging. Nice. Yo, that down air. Okay, so although he's being kept honest, he's still getting a lot of down air kills like from the platform or falling above. Exactly. Um, and the thing about Tunley, oh, caught without a jump. He doesn't um, need one. He doesn't um, need one. Yeah, oh, he might. dude, if he got <laughs> if he got that bomb jump, like you know what I mean, that would have been sick. That was really funny. Just like throw it straight up because you know he's gonna double jump. I guess the one good bet that Ma can make is that I think Tristan's gonna try to hover towards the platform if it's dipping down. And that's yeah. how he was able to cover like a lot of his uh, positioning in that little sequence. Oh, oh. invincible, invincible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Still in mid percents. Yo! Oh! Here we nice. go. <gasps> no, 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 no! Okay. okay, okay, okay. That hitbox lasts forever. I get so nervous. Commentator bias, maybe? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a lot of it. <laughs> oh, good stuff with the recovery. Oh yeah. yeah, see right there, Machiavelli was like, "Yo, you're setting up. I'm just gonna jump in and just like slap you away for a little bit, you know." And Ivysaur has the range to really take advantage of that. Like you, you won't, you wouldn't see like a character like Captain Falcon or maybe like um, what's another character that Tristan kind of womps on lately or has been womping on lately. Um, has been what? Womping on. Oh, dude, like. I think that if you're a character like Mario, yeah, yeah, Mario can't do like if, especially if he's that high. Yeah. No way. Oh, what? Oh, Mock. Is this a is this a troll? Oh, Mario. Okay, makes sense. It's like a half troll. Because I think that Mock's IV does pretty well on Wario Land. Yeah. But you know, Wario Land, and if you have any sort of Roy, yeah, it's pretty decent. So th Tristan's down a game against Mock. Uh, who, if he were to lose a set, if he were to continue to just kind of just drop it. Yeah. Who's going to be playing losers? Oh, let's see. We have the fancy schmancy bracket over here. Loser of this will play Sneeze. Okay. Interesting matchup. And the winner of this goes on to play Sosa. So this is kind of like a 
pretty important match. Oh, no, no, no. This is one one round behind. Oh, really? Yeah, so the, the semis, this isn't semis. Semis will be the winner of this and then the winner of Blank and Xeno. IPK knocked out, yeah. upset earlier, obviously. So Blank is taking his spot and has to fight Xeno Kids in the bracket. Okay, shout out to Blank for getting an incredible upset. Yeah, dude. That was sick. Also, shout outs to him for being the other Zero Suit. <laughs> The yeah. other zero suit? Yeah, I know. I mean, like, you know, War War and Surgeon both have zero suits, but they don't main zero suit. This guy main zero suit. I'm like, yes, you're the other one. And he transitioned from Roy like he were seeing now on Wario Land. It's kind of going even, and I'm surprised that Tristan's kind of going even with Fox Roy. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Oh, catches him. Nice. Good DI, though. Good DI, though. That was great DI. Oh, that good up attack was really strange. And I like the way that Mox kind of hugging the ledge oh, right there. Oh, oh, <laughs> caught between a rock and a pointy place. <laughs> Very steel edge place. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, <gasps> good. <laughs> Dude, Mox is having none of it. He just like sits there, like, oh, just finish your stupid recovery, kid. Let me, let's move on to the next stock. If there was a bureaucrat in SoCal Smash, I think Mox would be it. Dude, yeah. <laughs> he, like, he, he works the 9 to 5, that guy. Oh! Dang. That's a Tristan special right there. One of many Tristan specials. Just uh, sit, sit at that perfect spot and then forward smash them? Yeah. You know who the Tristan special works on really well? Me. Uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and Tristan. I feel, like Trist I, th I feel like Tristan goes for ledge attack so often yeah. that if Tristan played Tristan, Tristan would body Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> like un undoubtedly, like some kind of shadow link, like sort of yeah, exactly ninja fight. Yo, but get out of here, Roy. Come on, man. Switch it back to your Ivy. Your Roy sucks. All right. So, if I were Mox Ivy, where would I go? That's not a real song, right? No, it's not. Is it? Is it a tune to a real song? It's a top forty. No, it's not. No, okay, <laughs> okay. Because I was like, I was like, that sounds so like there is so much discord in, the, in that in that note progression. <laughs> I feel like um, you're definitely a connoisseur of video game music, and I know a lot of people in this chat are as well. Yes. So I feel that after listening to so many different video game tunes, they 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 don't, they don't sound the same, but like almost anything can trigger like video game memory or video game music memory. What do you mean by that? Like things sound similar. There's a lot of chord progressions that like Koji, uh, oh, Koji Kondo uses similarly. Oh, I see what you're saying. I so like if you were saying. to do one little tune, you're like, oh, that sounds like this and this. Oh, it's like this is like the Chrono Trigger song. It's like, yeah. no, dude, I thought that was like a Harvest Moon theme <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Didn't right. work on that one. Sorry there, Oates. No worries. <laughs> but okay, here we go. This is the best of three, by the way. So if, like, how, with how close that first one was, that first one close? I don't remember. I think yeah, the like, first one was actually very close. It was down to the last hit, um, mid yeah. to high percents. So let's see if, uh, dang. Wow. Wow. I never need, oh, wow. Yo, oh, good Good job you got rid of that bomb. I did not know that Ivysaur could, like, jab reset off the floor like that. Dude, Ivysaur's jab is incredibly good. Guess what frame it comes out? Uh, four. The answer is two. Oh, <laughs> shit. Why? <laughs> Why does your tab come out frame two? I don't know. It's it's like incredibly good. <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah, that's a really good jab. <laughs> yeah. It's about as fast as zero suits, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. If by about you mean exactly. Yes. Oh, man, Tristan is really bringing it back. Back throw? Yeah. This should be. That's a really good throw. Yeah, if I was Mock, oh, um, okay, I don't know. I was paying attention to Mock, but I guess, because I just assumed Tristan would do some sort of bomb thing. Now, I noticed that Mock was doing the bullet seed, like, closer to the ledge and having it drift towards. Is that to catch Tristan recovering closer to the wall? Yeah. So basically, um, I would say it serves the same purpose as, like, uh, you know, just like any other projectile. You use it, you don't really want it to hit. You know, if it hits, then that's great. Yeah. But the big purpose that it serves is that it cuts off angles. Yeah. So that's what he was doing there. Toon Link like is very sensitive to the to the angle of his recovery. You know what I mean. And if you can send a projectile to like get in the thick of it, oh, uh oh, Tristan. Here we go. This is a scary spot. Trip back. Yep. Yep. And oh, that was a mistake. That was. Oh, a that's a mistake by Mock. Yeah. Mock only has two mistakes on mistakes on mistakes. Yeah. I was gonna say like like what you can do is you can just wait it out, and if they aren't comfortable refreshing invincibility. Oh wow, that was a really quick, you know. Teaming Kill. it up, yeah. <laughs> kill. I was looking for a more complicated word, but <laughs> that, that, that was definitely a kill. Okay. Look how like even this. Is, look how even this is. No. Okay. Okay. That okay. was that was nice of Mom. He, he gave a little. Okay. Little yeah, that bonus was there. that was that was a gift, to Tristan, dude. 
Christmas came early for that kid. Tis the season. It's like he he should have gotten a lump of coal, but he has like those parents that are like absentee parents that like don't really like care about like his manners. So like they just gave him a gift anyways, just to shut him up. Oh, dude, that was sick. That, that was, was nice. sick. Because he didn't have to go through the landing like because he did the perfect amount of aerial drift. Ledge canceling that. And I feel like that's something that maybe Ivysaur is might be one of the only characters who can take advantage of that, or also Zero Suit? All of them can, but oh, Ivysaur, really? Ivysaur has the most aerial drift, so it has the most leniency. Got it. Dude, I keep thinking that one character, like, Mach is ahead. <gasps> oh! oh! Oh, the bomb saves him. The bomb saves him. The bomb saves him, but I like that. I like that attempt from Tristan. Dude! Is Tristan going to beat Machiavelli? Dude. No, get why? Get out of here, Why? <laughs> why did he drink the milk? Why did he drink the milk? Oh, the, the kids need to grow. And this yeah. kid needs to get this win to grow even further in the SoCal Power Rankings. He needs to grow in the Power Rankings. Yeah, that's good. Or his, or his mentality. I feel like... Yo, look at this Look at this neutral right now. This look neutral how, is disgusting. Look how funny this neutral is. All right. Mach has the Solar Beam, though. So unless Tristan can, like... Because Tristan really needs to push his punish as far. Yeah. Because Mach is just going to automatically be able to push his punish as far because the Solar Beam does so much work for him. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I remember at the balcony... It was not last week, but the week before oh, that Tristan... Oh, oh. <gasps> Yo, okay, okay, okay. This might be it. Wow. Catches the jump. Catches the jump. Good stuff. This evens up the game. No, this would be a great win for Tristan if he gets this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's not an up air. Oh, catches him. <gasps> good tech, good tech. If he didn't tech that, that would have been it. Yo. Wow. This is really tense, dude. If I was if I was Tristan or Mach, well, Mach is a robot, so he's not he's not really like yeah. feeling it. But like Tristan, oh! Wow. The pick with the bullet seed. Dang, what a snipe, what a snipe. I like Machiavelli, it. just like, you know, by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> by the skin of his teeth.